Good morning again, everyone. We're working on project 8-6. This is part B. I believe this is where we stopped the last uh, tutorial. So what we want to do is we want to click on format and the shape field. I'm going to put no shape field and I have the heading highlighted because I really want to see what I'm working on. So I'm going to put no shape field so I can see that. So this heading is highlighted. So I'm going to cut the words out of that. So I'm going to click on this little uh, placeholder box and I'm going to click uh, delete. So it that little box is now gone. And I'm going to click insert and I want a new text box. So I'm going to the text group and then clicking on text box. And the text box that I want is transcend slot sidebar. Transcend sidebar. So once that comes up, and my computer is working a little slow today, so please forgive me. I am uh, backing up files in the background. So I'm clicking on uh, Transcend Slide Bar, and the text is already highlighted, so I'm right-clicking my mouse, clicking on the A under Paste to paste the information that I have on the clipboard. So I'm clicking three times to highlight this information, the title, and I'm going to the Home tab. And I'm going to grow my font to 36. So I want the font to be 36. So you can increase your font to 36. And I want my color of my font to be a red accent one. Now you can see what happened to my newsletter. The entire column slid down. This is why I turned on the Show High group so we can see what's going on. So I want to make sure this column break is not there. So I'm highlighting that and I'm clicking delete on my keyboard to delete that information. So I'm clicking to see, scrolling to see what this looks like. And this information is now out of place, but I want to correct this up top first. I want to take out this um, extra paragraph marker. So I'm clicking near that and I'm clicking on delete to bring that up. I'm looking down again and I see that this information has now slid out of place. So I'm going to highlight this by clicking on it. And I'm going to left click and hold and go right underneath. Okay. And then I'm going to slide this up in place. And then this is my document. And this is the finished document. I can take off my paragraph markers. And this is what your document should look like. You want to save this document as YMCA underscore newsletter underscore final. Thank you and have a great day.